afternoon everyone and today it's a very nice day to be riding on an afternoon it's not too sunny not too raining not wet although the clouds are quite heavy over there but it's still a good day to ride and I'm on my way to Ku Teck Huat Hospital uh, to pick up my MC Got them force neutrals So today uh, let's discuss about something that we all went through before getting our license Every one of us has a 2B bike that we all dream of getting once we pass our license and mine was the R15 the YZF R15 when version 2 came out when I saw that bike I was totally amazed by the design the tail looks like an R6 and it's fuel efficient although the engine is not powerful but it doesn't matter because it's a 2B bike anyway but it looks so badass man I, and I wanted to get that bike once I got my license but unfortunately I was not rich enough to, to buy it once I passed my license so I got this bike instead and uh, the NSRS 150 SP and it's not a, the, the best bike but it's not a bad bike as well and I never regretted getting this bike so what I want to ask all of you is what was your dream 2B bike and did you end up getting that bike as your first bike once you get your license so comment on the uh, comment section below tell me what did you get and what did you actually wish for so before I got my license I thought of getting the R15 when I passed my license and it at that point of time it cost around 10 to 12k about 10k uh, and the COE wasn't that high like as, as what, we, what it is like right now and yeah I was so disappointed when I when I got my license and I realized I couldn't get my R15 without having installments every month paying around $300 so yeah I kind of scrapped that idea and got this bike for 2100 instead and it, it was a pretty good deal uh, it's, there was like six years left on this bike yeah so I settled with this uh, it came with a few problems I changed the corn rod and uh, some minor overhauls that cost me quite a lot yeah but it's okay I love this bike it's powerful it's fun and it's fast but still even now when I look at the uh, R15 on the road I, I'll be like drooling all over my helmet and I still wish I had that bike so all I can do now is to look forward to 2A which I stopped halfway because of my injury I, I took the le lessons at the SSDC and and I stop at Prague 2 so next one is Prague 3 which I I kind of forgot the test road uh, so I had to go back to go for a refresher course or what do you call it uh, practice lessons uh, something like that uh. yeah so um, I'll be expecting my license at around mid year next year talking about next year are, we all, are you guys all excited about 2016 it's a new start and I do hope that 2016 will be good to me 2015 was not that fun for me uh, because I enlisted in 2014 December and I spent 2015 in NS which I I was desperate so I signed on and yeah so I have another four years to go so yes I'm a regular in the SAF and I wish I signed on for the police force instead 
but my my dad wanted me to try to pilot try to get into the pilot so I ended up in BMT and also in 2015 I had my first major accident which I wish didn't happen because I broke my arm and that wasn't very fun either so I do hope that 2016 uh, my hand will be fully recovered I can ride without pain on in my arm right now I feel pain like a little bit strain on the bones yeah and I do hope that 2016 I will be able to get my 2A license and also my dream 2A bike which is not very possible because uh, my dream 2A bike is actually the ZX300 I wanted to get a Kawasaki Ninja 300 but uh, at the same time I'm not really excited about, about that bike as the R15 because it's only 300cc and in Singapore you get a 400cc that is more practical uh, so but still it looks badass man. and so my second dream bike is the GS400 GSR400 yeah yeah, from Suzuki because it looks like a phaser as well and whoa go 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 yeah it looks like a phaser and I love the design the dual exhaust under tail exhaust and yeah it sounds good as well so but too bad my father doesn't like that bike and he he insists on me getting the CB400 Super 4 which is too common but it's the most practical one at the same time so yeah I'm, I'm okay with the bike but just that the design is not that fancy so I'll most likely get a Super 4 Spec 3 when I get my 2A license but still it costs quite a lot so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm getting that so soon. Anyway, I still need to concentrate on my 2A license first. Uh. Looks like it's gonna rain soon. So you see, every time we talk about it's a good day to ride and this happens. You just have to comment that, that it's a good weather today to ride. And it starts to get dark. Oh shit, it's starting to rain. So anyway, um, yeah, since we're talking about our dream bike, so moving on to the class two bikes, my dream bike in class two is uh, there's a few, but and I planned it out the stages that I'm getting the few bikes that I dream of. The first class two bike that I'm getting is the R6. Yes, it looks so badass, and you could have guessed that from my preference in uh, the designs from R15. So I'm definitely getting the R6 first and then uh, after playing for a while, you know, getting tired of sports bike without luggage and all that then I'll be moving on to GS1200 or something similar that, that is like a touring bike or sports uh, sports tour So GS1200 is the way to go because I like the, you know, the the design of a touring bike, and also how people look like when they are on the a tall bike, you know. Oh yes, and there's another bike that I'm so excited to see is the BMW S1000 XR. If you have not seen the video of this bike, you should check it out because. The bike sounds sounds like a S1000 RR and it has the same engine but in a form of a tour bike, a sports tour. So it's like a dream come true for me man, like having a sports bike and a tour bike in the same in one bike, you know. 
So I do hope that, I, that we can see it in Singapore. And if we do see it in Singapore, I'm gonna get that bike first, man. Skip the R6, just go to that. Because it's the best of both worlds. You get a sound of a sports bike and you get the body of a tour. Look at that. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, man. Tour bikes. Just looks so badass, man. So, anyway, that's the end of my video. I'm here at Kutik Port opposite. I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe on the roads.